afternoon, everyone. Yeah, can can anyone update me that am I audible to all? Yeah, okay. Thank you so much for the confirmation. Shall we start, Apurva? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you so much. Ma'am, uh, just wait for a while. Uh, let okay. me introduce you with the students. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Sure. On behalf of City University, I would like to invite our keynote speaker for the business, Dr. Seema Gangas, who is certified from the Harvard Business School in the field of entrepreneurship. Dr. Seema is well known author, researcher, certified master trainer. Now uh, she is going to deliver the session on the topic how to find your business idea and validate its potential. Over to you, ma'am. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Apurva. Yeah, so uh, the topic for the discussion is how to find your business idea and validate its potential. This is a very important topic. If you want to be an entrepreneur or you want to start your own business. So first of all, it's a challenge for everyone that if, what should be the idea or what kind of business we need to start. Everyone want to be entrepreneur. Everyone want to okay, I should start my own business. But the problem arises the point where you don't have any idea that from where we start, how to start, what kind of business we should get into that. So before starting any new business, the journey seems very exciting. Yes, today I started my business, maybe after three years or four years, it's very flourishing. It's doing wonders in the respective field, but it's not so easy also. From birthing an idea, from bringing an idea in your mind, based on that idea, we need to design certain kind of product or service, whatever business you can go, whether you can design any product, you can render any service to anyone. So you have to give birth to an idea. And after that, like it should, it, it is like a baby, right? After that, you have to nurture it with a viable or profit making concept. After that, only you can say that now, yes, this is my entrepreneurship journey. Now I am a successful entrepreneur. Then only it will be giving rewards to you. Right. But again, if you if you want to be entrepreneur, you want to run a business. This journey is not easy. Students, this is very challenging journey. There are n number of challenges on the way. First of all, the first challenge is that how to find that business idea. And once you find it, whether this is a genuine idea, whether this will be successful or not, this is the entire crux and the foundation of your entrepreneurial venture. So now let's see that how things work. First of all, how to generate idea, identify your interest in the skills. This is very good learning for each and everyone always get into that business which is relevant with your interest or skills don't rely on anyone else that yes someone else know this thing and that person will earn money for me sorry no one is going to give business to you for example sometimes some people think yes i can start a restaurant but if you do not know anything related to food production you do not know anything related to the restaurant business you will not be able to succeed in that for long term. Maybe at initial level, on the basis of the chefs which you get from the market, you will pay them handsome salary. But later on, if you don't have knowledge that from where to bring the raw material on cheap rates, okay, from uh, like what should be the decor of your restaurant, what kind of quality need to be given, what kind of presentation of food need to be there, only for some days you can survive in the market, but for a longer run, you won't be able to survive. Okay, so always find out such a business where you find your passion is, where you find you are interested into that or that can be your hobby and you must have the skills to run that business. For example, dance can be one of your hobby. Definitely, you can go in, in that business. Maybe painting is your hobby. You can start your own art gallery. Maybe dealing into stock market is your hobby, right? You can go for that business also. If you are very good in speaking, right? You can go into trainings also. If you are very good in singing, you can have your musical school. So the business into which you want to get in, that should be relevant with the passion and that should be relevant with the 
interest area also right second one is identify a problem or need now maybe you have a passion very interesting maybe you have the skills also that's again a very add on point but do you really think that this is a need of market maybe you are into you want to go into dance everyone has a dance school everyone is working you know to teach the dance to anyone you have to bring up problem there can be two ways of idea generation one is where you felt any kind of problem ki aisa koi product market mein available hota to shayad ye problem nahi aati mujhe dusra dusri problem ye hoti hai ki ya aapne kahi pe feel kiya ho ki yes this product is not available in the market i can such or i can arrange i can import that product and sell it to india okay there can be two thing first of all if you are going any going to any rural area where you find ki okay taxi is not available cab is not available so let's start this business for the local area that can be one of the problem which you faced second one is you have done a study in the market and there was a gap in the market right and that has not been addressed as if now you can find out such a product and you can start business related to that particular product थर्ड पॉइंट की अगर हम बात करते हैं दैट इज द रिसर्च यूर मार्केट नाउ यू हैव पैशन यू हैव स्किल्स यू हैव अ प्रॉब्लम टू बी एड्रेस्ड यू आर रेडी विद दैट बट फुल फ्लेज डोंट एंटर इन टू द मार्केट विदाउट द बेसिक ग्राउंड वर्क यू हैव टू रिसर्च अ लॉट यू हैव टू इन्वेस्टिगेट वट ट्रेंड्स आर देयर इन द मार्केट वट काइंड ऑफ पैटर्न योर इंडस्ट्री इज फोकसिंग ऑन मे बी यू आर गोइंग you are entering into the sports industry so what are the trends for that maybe you are uh, offering a product relevant to the football game but at that point of time everywhere you are finding that the cricket is very much into trend so again no one is going to bother about your product on the another side like kabaddi is kabaddi games are coming right you can launch any t-shirt or any accessory related to football definitely that is going to rock in the market so you have to investigate what kind of trends are prevailing in the market what kind of patterns your industry is following sometimes the industry is at the boom sometimes the industry is on a very lower rate initially if we talk about uh, i mean somewhere in 2009 or 10 the it industry was not working so well it was not performing at all but now after this covid time and after this digital era came into picture now uh, the it industry is the top industry it's on boom so you can make any product related to the it it can be any application it can be any software so it is the trend of your industry that yes anything you uh, make or launch related to the it definitely it's going to rock in the market okay second one is you have to identify what are the major players in that particular industry and what where the gap are i mean ki you have to find out okay the tata group is dealing into that or the reliance group is dealing into that but what is lacking what tata is not able to deliver what reliance is not able to deliver i will deliver that then only you are going to get the good customers from the market third one is you have to find out what are ins and out of your market because if you know each and everything from a to z about your market then only you can find out the weak areas then only because this kind of information is going to give you valuable information that how you can go for the unexplored market where the other big jams have not been yet and you can be there and definitely you can have the opportunity to definitely build your product for that particular market now these were the three points which you have to keep in mind the first one was generating idea second one was what was the second point again i will re uh, revise identify your interest in the skills second one is identify a problem or need and the third one is research your market do the basic ground work once you have done you have a full fledged idea with you ki yes i have to go with this idea now we have to validate that idea that exactly this is going to be a successful idea or not for that what you need to do first what is validation validation is basically we will call the industry people who are into the real life business the people who are into the real market who are 
you know the champs of that particular industry they can tell us they can give ideas on the basis of the offer which we are making to them that yes this is a service i want to offer to my customers this is the product whether this will be a viable product or not they will be utilizing their experience they will be utilizing their skills their domain knowledge to help you tell you whether this is a very good idea this will be a successful idea or this will be a failure before because you are going to invest your time you are going to invest your energy lot of energy and you are going to in, uh, you know invest your resources resources can be related to the land it can be building it can be any human resources it can be maybe the computers or the accessories office setup anything before you are investing huge things in your business so you have validate your thing from the people who are there in the market right if they are aware about that then only they are validating it then only you can get a clear idea about that after into the validation process the first conduct a swot analysis so what is a swot analysis it is consisted of four things the first one is the strength second one is the weakness third is the opportunity and fourth one is the threat so this analysis is going to help you to identify your competitors who are the competitors in the market what are the threats you are having from those competitors but simultaneously you are going to get an, an information about the strength which you have and the opportunity area where you can start your business it is going to give you insight about the competitive advantage what are the areas of improvement and what are the different unique opportunity which no one has explored right now and you have a clean sheet the pitch is empty for you you can hit the sixers for that particular business okay the second point which comes is engage with the potential customers now definitely the customers who are your already customers right and who else can be the customers you have to start interacting with those customers you have to start discussing with those customers maybe you can give them the free product just to you get the uses and get a response from them they will be giving you a genuine feedback you can ask them okay, okay for example if you are going to give any service okay what kind of services you are liking any feedback for us if you are making any product before hitting the full and final production at least prepare small amount of the product so that which you can circulate free of cost to the potential customer to get the feedback maybe they are not liking the price maybe they are not liking the taste maybe they are not liking the packaging so they will be giving you a valuable feedback and accordingly you can improve and you can launch a full fledged product related or it can be a service right because this this kind of engagement can be a real eye opener for you because you are going to offer this product in the market it will help you to refine your research to refine your offering accordingly maybe you are going to get a feedback related to the pricing that yes we are not ready to get uh, this product on this and this price so accordingly you can negotiate with the price also because ultimately your customer need to accept your product the third one is run a minimum viable product that is the mvp we call it a mvp also this is a quick way where we test our idea into the market we create a very simplified version of our product or maybe our services but with the core features it's not like that if we are distributing it for the free we are not adding features into that no we have to add the core features to that particular product so that it can address the need and the problem you are looking to tackle for the customers also this minimum viable product need to be presented into a selected group of customers and we have to monitor the response and accordingly that in that response will be helping us to raise our standards to raise the bar to refine our research related to the product development last second point which we need to keep in mind is perform a financial feasibility analysis now you have to cross check whether you have that enough finance to run your business idea to make it uh, happen into the market you have to see your initial investment that may be 3 lakh is required maybe 1 crore is required and what will be the ongoing cost also and what will be the potential revenue you have to take care of three things the initial requirement the operational cost and what will be the potential revenue right you have to calculate the break even point also that in how much time maybe into 6 months maybe into one year you are going to get you are going to reach on the break even point right this should be done before starting the business 
after that you have to compare the findings related with the pricing maybe that the potential customers they can pay more than that also which you are demanding so you can adjust your cost likewise and into the last you have to validate it with the industry experts maybe um, whatever offerings they are giving you maybe they are uh, they can easily identify what are the potential pitfalls what are the potential failures of your product what kind of challenges you are going to face but you have to consider that in a very positive way so they will be finding they will be validating the information which you are putting on their table so business idea we can validate it definitely it but it requires introspection extensive research and strategic testing it can be a challenging process yes it is mandatory reason being we want to get a success in our business we want to succeed in a respective area so now embarking on your business journey with a validated idea can give all the confidence you need to make a difference in the market just put on your entrepreneurial hat and get going with this i'm ending my topic here if you have any doubt related to the relevant topic you can go ahead with the questions yeah thank you yeah it was a short and crisp um, detail of this particular topic apurva it's done from my side i would like to address the questions if the audience is have yeah apurva are you there yes ma'am Ma'am, actually, student students are going to drop uh, questions on their chat box. Uh, I request to the students if anyone have any questions, you can uh, drop on chat box, please. yeah i think there is no one to ask the questions because it it was such a easy topic i don't think so that the queries will be raised out of it yes ma'am i also think that a hmm. uh, ma'am just wait for a while um, i think we have to wind up the session now okay Uh, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, just I'm going to share my screen with you. Ma'am, this is small token of love on behalf of City University. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for this. Ma'am, I'll be sharing this certificate uh, with you at your email ID too. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much, Agurva. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. Good evening.